Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is Wednesday, June the 5th. It is day five of the daily vlog. I do have a Value Village haul for you. I didn't pick up a ton of things. What do I have? I think I have five, five items I wanna show you because that's all I picked up on Tuesday for Seniors Day, 30% off, but I will share that with you. I'm also gonna talk about what I did today, whether I got my goals accomplished, and I'm going to give you a heads up on what I'm doing tomorrow. All right, first, the haul. Um, we go every Tuesday pretty much to our local Value Village because we get 30% off and we do find some really good items there. The first one I'm going to show you are these pair of shoes. She's a cute little sort of chunky wedged sandal. They were only $5.99 regularly so that means I paid $4.19. I'm going to show you this one. The brand is called Fugitive. Now, they're not worth a great deal, but because they were a little sort of steampunkish or a little, you know, a little gothy, I thought I would look them up because the price was really good. And I'm hoping to get at least $30 to $40 for these, so I was really happy. The only one problem I'm having is that I cannot see a size. So I'm going to have to really look well to see if I can find one, but that's okay. Otherwise, I will measure it. I will try it on myself and list it that way. I just want to put them out of the way here. So I picked up this belt. It was originally $6.49. So that means I paid $4.54. And I at first thought it went this way. Maybe it still does. But then, I don't know. It could go this way. Or does it go this way? I don't know, it's just one of those belts that is like um, a cage belt or a, what's the other word for them, I forget. Anyway, I liked it. I thought it was in really good condition. Always check the uh, holes when you get a belt. And I thought it would sell pretty good. I'm looking to get at least 25 for that. Back down there. Uh, the next one I want to show you are these canisters. So I got two exactly the same. If you can see them, they're little tigers. The pattern is called Tiger Lily, as you can see down there. I'll take the lid off. So the brand is Petal Pets from 1989. So these, I got two exactly the same. Same size and everything. So um, I noticed though, roosters on the back are not part of the original design. So I do have to get those taken off before I can list them, but that's okay. So these are vintage canisters. They're super cute with the little tiger with the lilies. Somebody has a similar set, but two different sizes on Etsy for $100. I don't know how accurate that is. I can't seem to find it too much on eBay. So I'm actually going to try and list them on, I'm gonna list them on Poshmark for sure, but I'm gonna try listing them on Etsy as well just to get my hands in there again and see how they do after I clean them up though. I'll let you know what I get for them eventually. I also picked up, well the shoe goes down there, this Tupperware dish. It is Tupperware. This, let's see, is for traveling eggs. Deviled eggs, hard boiled eggs, whatever you want. That's what they're for. Um, I did pay, what did I pay for this? $4.54, so it was originally $6.49. Um, I might be able to get 20 bucks out of it. If not, you know what? I don't mind keeping it. I could use it for something. But if I can sell it, that's even better. The last things I want to show you are like the best thing I have bought in a while. I saw, I think it was this one first. Thought, oh, that's a really nice mug, and I like the weight. And I do pick up mugs and feel the weight first. And then I went and looked. You can't see that because it's not. This one's probably better. Bosco Wear. So I ended up getting four. Let's see if I can get all four in there. Four different colors. Really, really nice. No chips, no nothing. Really good condition. The green one alone sold for $40 US on eBay recently. I believe the yellow one sold for like 20. I'm going to actually lot them together and do a little bit more research and see what I can get for them. They were originally priced for 
$7.99 for the four of them. I get 30% off, so I got them for $5.59. It means they were $1.40 each. And if I can get maybe $100 out of them, that's what I'm sort of thinking about. I think that would be fantastic. They're a really nice quality. Like, I love the quality. And I look at mugs all the time because I have a small problem with mugs. I keep buying them for some reason and not selling them. And there's only two of us, and we only we actually use the same mugs every day. So I don't know what's wrong with me. So anyway, they're really good um, quality, and I was really surprised when I looked them up. Sometimes when you're outsourcing, when you find something that's a little different, or you find something that you think is really good quality, I think it always pays to look it up and see what they're selling for, if they're actually desirable or not. So keep that in mind. Okay, so. What was I going to get done today and did I get it done? <laughs> so I did do, uh, we went to the gym this morning. Um, I did end up steaming and photographing. I ended up with 14, not 15, and that's okay. I did all my post office and my packing and my errands, all that kind of stuff. I did that this morning. And I did my photographs later this afternoon. And I find that when I do photographs later in the day, I don't want to list. I am like, I'm done with that stuff and I don't want to do any of it. So I haven't got any listed yet today. Whether or not I get some or not, I don't know. I am sort of trying to get some of the drafts started. So at least that's something. I'm going to try and get most of the, the listing and drafting done tomorrow morning before we go to London. So I didn't do too badly today. I was really pleased that I got my photos done. I did play with my lighting for my sort of my measurements and things my flat lays and it seemed to work a lot better I did have a light um, that I could use and it did work a bit better but it's a little cloudy today so we're not getting full sun so that didn't help either <laughs> we're working on it so tomorrow is Thursday and if you've been around the channel for a while you know that I usually take stuff to the cross-border shipper on Thursdays it is an hour's drive, so we do like to combine that drive with going to the bins or sourcing or whatever. Uh, tomorrow we have packages going to our cross-border shipper. We do have to stop at an auction in Strathroy to pick up stuff and hopefully to drop things off to get them to auction them. We'll probably end up going to the bins because I have not been in a long time. And because I've been photographing, I am pretty close to the end of my death pile, which is really, really good. At least the death pile that I want to handle right now. I do have a few things that I have to start sneaking in. And I do do that. Like, I'll get some new stuff, get it all prepped up, like washed and whatever. And I do try to bring some things that have been sitting around for a while into that just to mix it up and to get them done. So I'm going to try to get some stuff at the bins tomorrow which I'll show you at some point probably Friday um, tomorrow I do want to list at least seven it's at least seven if not ten if I do some of the stuff in the morning then in the afternoon when we get home I will have time and energy to do that but you know what Thursdays are one of those days that I don't tend to do a lot of reselling stuff because we are I usually am the one driving back and forth you know to the cross-border shipper so it's more it's not really a day off but it is a lighter day for me and I might tweak some listings and things like that so it's not a big to-do list day and it's really simple to get the cross-border shipper done so I don't really need to be held accountable tomorrow I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get everything done I want to get done but yes that is it for today um, today is Wednesday already that's good I guess hump day I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to talk about automation because there's some things that have been going on and things that people have been saying that I want to address and I want to talk about what my strategy has been lately. Anyway, that is it for today. I hope everybody has a great Wednesday and I'll see you later. Bye.